I just got a call announcing the birth of the SR0. So let's check it out. Yeah. Major night and yeah, nearly morning actually. It's how we do things here. All the good things seem to happen at sort of midnight. Yeah. Putting the bodywork back on, all the panels we've taken off, and getting it ready to to run for the first time. You know, the team have been working pretty much 16-hour days every day, including weekends, for the last good three or four weeks. And if this drives tonight, it'll be a massive relief for everybody involved who've worked so hard. So very, very important times. Good things come to those who wait. We've been working on it for so, so long, and all we've seen is a wheel spin. And while that is very exciting for us, you know, it's not doesn't translate necessarily into a car driving um, because we've had so many other little things to worry about and especially the public who may be looking at it don't really consider a motor spinning a wheel that amazing because you know naturally they don't, they don't know the huge amount of work that's going on behind it but when you actually see a car working it's the culmination of all of our work for the last six months um, and that's the reason why we want to test it so as early as possible to transition from the building phase to the testing phase. And even though we've still got a huge amount of work ahead of us to fix certain mountings and get everything working correctly, it's more of a tweaking job rather than a building job. And it just helps sort of our mental state in uh, keeping focused. It's about time we see some action, to be honest. We've all been so hungry for this moment. We've all been imagining it for so long that... We've all had dreams about it. <laughs> he had an interesting dream about batteries. I had a dream where I was one of the batteries and I was trying to charge myself, but it wasn't working. <laughs> so I woke up really, really tired because I wasn't charged. You know you've been working on batteries too much when you dream you are one. The biggest challenge so far was uh, writing control program. We'll see uh, how well it works. No problems. Well, not yet. <laughs> I'm just updating the Twitter feed. Sunday the 21st of March, it could be the day where we drive for the first time. This is amazing. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, really, if you think about it. Immense. <laughs> and it's actually raining as well. That's just great. Mint. <laughs> that's so nervous. I'm so nervous. <laughs> if you crash now, you see that gutter? Uh, that's going to be difficult to clear. We've got to find a good way to get over that gutter. First uh, Pan American Highway issue <laughs> a two inch it's gutter. gutter. <laughs> <laughs> 10 past one on the 21st of March 2010. A historic moment for electric vehicle technology as the SR0 takes the roads for the very first time. Yeah. Ready? Go. Yeah, I hear, I hear it going. <laughs> Are we all clear? Okay, all clear. Yeah. Mark one, first test, S zero. Oh, it's moving, it's moving. It says full throttle, Alec. Full oh, throttle. Like, Mate, I think you, when you said 100 newton meters, you put 10 newton meters. Gone! It's gone! It's gone! Come on. Let's try to turn on low voltage. Yeah, it's on. Thank you. What's it, what was it on? 10, 10. 150 newton meters. This is, this is full throttle. I think it's a sexy car they want it to be yet. But... Not the sexiest they are hoping for. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> it's moving on the bright side. <laughs> it looks really good. <laughs> well, it works. It does. Um, the reason why you see it going so slowly, though, is because we've set the torque really, really low because we were scared the car would just run away, you know, just in case. At least it's moving. I mean, we could, we could always yeah, do the Pan American in 10 years, maybe, <laughs> <laughs> if we push it on the hills. 
most likely Alec doing some things with the control software and you know, hopefully we'll get it going a lot faster. So. Um, so now it should be outputting torque, but now yeah, it's oh stopped. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, it's going negative. It's going negative. So you're saying I could reverse a lot quicker? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you are, you can try that. <laughs> okay, let's try it. I think we have a pretty good idea of what's not quite working right. It's just a, just a question of getting your, your negatives and positives right. That's, uh, you know. <laughs> Electric cars are always about you know, just getting your negatives and positives right. You have the battery terminal, positive and negative terminal. The motor controller spins in the positive or negative direction. So, you know, it's, it's always 50-50. Well, you know, it's a partial success. I mean, most of the systems work. And I, I honestly believe it's just a uh, scaling problem, which in the software it just needs to be looked at. But uh, we have the best guys on the team, so we'll fix it. Champagne for everybody. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Not very. <laughs> 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 <laughs>